If you like our content, do leave your comment in the comment section, like uh, our video, and do subscribe our channel to get the latest updates. Welcome guys, welcome to this brand new Vue.js video. So in the project, the template project that we are creating using Vue.js and Firebase, we created this team section in the last video, so it is working fine. But what we need to work on in this video is that this animation, uh, whenever I scroll, this animation comes, uh, no matter uh, coming from the bottom or from the top without refreshing the page it's keep on giving us the animation effect so i'm using the visual studio as the text editor and i am in my project so i run the command npm run serve to get the development server up now we are going to use a package called uh, view uh, uh, scroll reveal this package this is the link for it i already added in the description as well so you need to add this package using npm command. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this command. So I install it. All right, so the package is installed. You can see we scroll reveal 1.0.11. Now if you go to the website there, they are guiding like how we can add in our application. We need to import it in our component, something like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to call it into our main.js that I'm going to add here. Now we need to tell Vue.js to use the scroll wheel, just uh, given it here as well. So I'm going to copy this too. Now we are uh, we can use this. We need to save this. Once saved, we can use it. Now we can also pass the parameters here: duration, scaling, distance, uh, like element, how far the element should come from, and how much uh, time uh, animation should take place. But uh, whatever we do presently, we just need to see what by default we get in view scroll reveal. Now to use this package, I go to the tabs, and here what I'm going to do, I want the animation on title. So if I go to browser, we have title here, I want animation on this one. So I'm just going to say here, uh, view scroll reveal, that's it. It's very quick by default. So what I do, I put the dot reset so that we don't have to refresh the page and we can see the animation. And uh, if I scroll, you can see that it comes a little later than the scroll time. So what I can do, we can change the uh, parameters, something like this. So what I do, I add this and scale as well and distance as well. Let's do that. So we go to the main.js. So we put there and distance as well. You can see. And we also want this as same animation on these options as well. So let's do that. So for that, I'm going to add the same um, parameter to our buttons. So here and also reset so it happens on every scroll now I want to also want to pass a parameter of delay because we don't want it to uh, happen at the same time so I just pass this so well, first it's going to animate it's going to show up and after delay this uh, these buttons gonna show up so let's see And you can see that effect is there. Now we're going to copy this again. And we're just going to increase the delay in this case. So user list class we have here. We just want this div. And we are going to put here 500 to increase the time. Oh, sorry. We have this. Yeah, it looks fine. Now let's add the contact portion uh, section we need to add. So what I do to create a contact section inside components, I'm going to create a directory with the name of contacts. Okay, now inside it, I'm going to create two files, index.view to view. All right, so what we need to do here is that uh, in the index, I'm going to create a template, which one? And similarly, I'm going to copy this to any dot view. I'm going to call it any now we need to add these in our main component. So I go to app.view and here just below the tabs, we need to add uh, contact. 
uh, we don't have contact call over here yet, so we need to call it. So just copy one of these. I can copy this here. So I have a directory inside components called contact. So instead of uh, includes, I say contact. And then I'm calling index. And it's going to be, uh, we can call it contact. Now, as we are importing it, we need to also define it here in components so that we can use it. So we have our index and any component ready. Now, if I go to the browser, refresh the page, we have index showing up there. Now, if I go, uh, we also have a, any component that we need to call. So we need to call it here. All right, now we need to import it to call it the component. And we need to import the component. Now we are, we are getting this red because under template we cannot have two tags, two HTML tags. We should have a div and then we can have multiple tags there. So let's put a div here. And inside that div we can put this. Now that error is gone our page we have uh, index and any now if we see here what we have we have a contact today and then we have these icons and then the contact number that we added we need to make some changes into our index view first of all so i'm going to add here a class of now inside here we have h1 and uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to say here is to have some uh, effects some uh, css so, so div with the class of can put this David. Now I have some CSS that I need to add here. And instead of here, inside I put the CSS for the contact wrapper and to our H1 I'm going to give a class of title. Alright, now if I go to the page, it should look a lot better than before. You can see that contact wrapper gave us this background. Uh, to save time, I straight away did it, and we have contact today. Now, this any is the component we are calling, uh, which is here. We will be working on that. Now, if we go to the template, we have a contact us on as well. So this is the time we add that third, because it's a third element. And uh, let's wrap this div with the glass of second. And uh, here in third element, what we need to do, we need to create a span. Uh, sorry, with the class of contact. And we can put the text inside it. So it's a contact us on. And then for the number, I create another span with the class of number. All right, so we can give any number here just for showing the number there on the screen. Now we have to, add, I'm going to add some CSS for this too, so that we don't have to waste time on CSS. So I just added this, it's just going to set the colors, font size and font weight. I save this, go to the page, and our project is here, and we have the effect showing up. It's not center aligned, center. All right, now we need to put the effects for the, uh, scroll reveal uh, so that when I scroll it should come accordingly so let's do that so what I do I'm going to pass the values on the divs where we have classes set to second or third so this uh, component we haven't worked right now uh, so what I do I wrap the h1 in the div we can give it a class of first and I'm going to cut this now here we can say v scroll reveal dot reset to make any mission again and again. Now what I want to do here is that I want to uh, put some delay. So I want to say delay. Uh, sorry, it's going to be under mustaches. Delay 200 and scale. Uh, property to two, set to two. So save that 
and we can refresh. Uh, you can see that that scaling is taking this contact to it's coming like from going to inside and in fact it's coming and uh, now the similar effect we want on the third element as well so I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste in on the div so that we get the effect all right now it's the time that we work on the component this animation component because if we go to the template we have it here so this component is uh, bringing the cave uh, icons from the left side we need to put that in place so here let's go to the anim uh, view and inside it we are going to create a div first of all so I'm going to remove this all right now I'm going to put some CSS in there and because uh, that is something that is going to give us some styling. So, sculpt. So, CSS stays to this component only. I add anim container, anim container h1. Now we don't have h1, so let's add an h1 in there. So, I'm going to say h1, and inside it, we are going to put an icon. So, we have the icon of uh, phone here so I am going to add the icon for phone in our code so let's add there right there if I go and see we have the icon of phone now similarly now to give the animation we are going to use the transition so to use the transition we need to wrap this uh, under a transition tag so it's a transition we are going to use the hooks JavaScript hooks in this case so I'm going to do, I'm going to say we on before enter. We're going to use this function on this and we are going to fire a function. So we're going to call that function also before I enter. And here, once it enters, we on enter. It is going to be enter. And uh, I'm going to give it up here. All right, because up here going to have the uh, effect uh, on the animation. Now these functions aren't set yet, so nothing going to change for us in here. It's uh, the phone I'm going to show just normally the way it is. So to add the effects, uh, let's add these functions. So uh, we create the script tag here. going to be before so now about these functions when you go to the documentation of UJS and there uh, you look for the JavaScript hooks you will see the functions uh, given there so we can use before enter enter that we are using in our code we can also use these other functions too so when we are going to define the functions the functions that we are going to pass we can get the excess of element and done so this is something that gives us the um, power to add the animation on element. So if I put here uh, element, so and here if I say console.log element, so we can see that uh, how this element is going to work. So if I go to the browser and go to our project and go inspect console, I need to refresh the page. You can see we get the access to H1, which is a far phone. You can see the icon of phone. It is selecting it as well. So we can put uh, the CSS on this particular element due to this element. We access to this element. So we say the element dot style dot left, and let's give it uh, minus 100 pixel. Now here I say element dot style. All right, save this. Now we don't have it. So now what do we need to do when we uh, enter here and we follow documentation uh, on the enter, we have the access to element and done. So I can use those. So I just go and put in here. Now here, what I want to say, I want to set a delay. So what I say, I say element dot get attribute. Okay, and we are going to get delay 
we're going to set the uh, delay and we're going to get it. So the element here, we haven't set any delay so far, but we need to set that so that we can get the excess. So here I say, because uh, when you call the element in the function, that means the element transition is surrounding. So transition is surrounding this. So this is the element we have access to. So we can pass here delay. And let's say delay is zero. And left is zero as well for our starting. Okay, so we can access that in our code now here and we can use it. So uh, when we get the delay, I want to make sure we get the value as integer. So parse uh, int. I'm also going to copy this because we have another property with the name of left. Now we can set this property to a variable. So instead of add some delay and animation effect, so we are going to use velocity. It is a package, JavaScript package that we need to install. I have it here, velocity animate. So we are going to install it. So here is the command that we need to run. Let's copy this, go to the terminal and run it to install now here in script. All I'm going to do, I'm going to call it. So velocity animate. Now with this velocity, we can access it and use it inside our function. So uh, to use it, uh, we just call it and pass the parameters. So we have the access to element. And once this whole enter uh, hook completes, that done uh, happens that we have access to. So we need to use these two here. So I say element, first of all, and I say that we want some effect on it. So I'm passing parameter opacity to one. And also I want to change left. Now also we can pass parameter for delays. So to delay, we say duration, going to be two seconds. And also complete uh, is going to be equal to done, okay? So we have these values set, and that's totally fine. Now we need to uh, put a comma here so that we don't get error. Now we go to the browser. If you carefully have a look in the icon, when I refresh, it moves a little. Uh, you notice here, little moves, and then it uh, goes to the top section here. So we don't see the animation, it goes away. So what do we need to do? We need to bind the scroll reveal so that when we scroll and reach to this point, that animation happens at that point. So to do that, we need to go, uh, we have, we already have everything done on our, this particular element, uh, any dot view file. We only have one icon so far, but we will be adding more. So what we need to do, we need to go to index.view and uh, let me make it a little bigger so it's going to be easy to see. Now we are calling our component here. Now we want to put some options here so that we can have animation on scroll. So we say we scroll reveal and uh, I'm going to reset it so that it happens again and again. Now obviously we need a delay in this case as well. So I'm going to pass delay and I just say 300 delay to this one and then we say after re wheel we are going to run a function here and this is how you pass function in case you want to and what i'm going to do i'm going to say that uh, i'm going to give it a property uh, and that property going to decide when this animation runs or when exactly we're going to show this so let's say uh, second anim and if it is true then do this so Okay, so when we are going to scroll and uh, this div comes, it is going to set it to true. So we can pass here. Uh, let me create a div here instead. So, so I say v if, and then we are going to pause. So nothing about too hard here. Just try to understand. We are saying we scroll reveal reset so that whenever we are going to scroll it is going to happen now we are passing and here's a mistake we need to put it this way now we are saying do uh, change the second item to true now 
to change it to true if it is true then show this component and by default we need to put it false so we need to put inside here you know, an export add uh, data return and by default if you need to set it to false okay you're gonna save this and you can see that animation happens let's uh, do it on scroll yeah we have the animation however that uh, text is causing some disturbance there so so to correct this we can use the after reveal function one more time what we can do we just simply pass because we know that we can pass a function here so we can add another function now we have a function here this time I'm going to call this third third animation maybe and we can add a div here and uh, we need to move all our spans inside it all right now we have our spans here so we can put the condition like this and it is true so we're setting it true here so we need to set it false by default so now let's have a look how it looks so if I go here refresh the page go down you get this and then that comes now we can move this icon to the uh, more forward so it looks fine so here we have left yeah now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add the another icon as well so that we can see the animation straight away so just gonna copy this whole transition delay is going to be changed I want to put it 200 here so it's together what do we do we add the uh, some left more let's add 350 but adding more it's have to travel more so let's see how in fact it comes so if I go down here get our icons and then we get the contactors so that's that looks cool actually it is soon and uh, quite fast as well so we have two elements coming one by and then we have uh, getting this coming so this is how you add the velocity effect on refresh it gives you a uh, new feel first time you, you get those elements coming from the left and then the contact this comes afterwards now we can slow down this uh, for that you need to check out the velocity documentations as well as you can check the video reveal documentation check the description for that and in the next section we are going to work on our contact uh, newsletters so whatever email we put here it should store inside the firebase database so we need to work on that if you like our content do leave your comment in the comment section like uh, our video and do subscribe our channel to get the latest updates